The anger crisis in East Africa is real. Uh, it's compounded by three main factors. One is uh, the COVID disruption, which disrupted the uh, farming. Uh, two are climatic changes, uh, which is uh, changing weather patterns, and that affects uh, production. And then three is the desert uh, rocker situation, which was in East Africa, uh, that mm -hmm. affected uh, several areas in terms of pasture and, uh, and, and, and crop production. Um, the fourth factor which affects refugees is, uh, is, is ration cuts. Uh, we are now doing 60% uh, starting February 2021. We are seeing instances of uh, negative coping mechanisms, uh, which include uh, families uh, sending uh, other family members away to either go and beg or eat from neighbors or relatives. Uh, we are seeing families selling off their assets, uh, which could include animals, uh, productive assets to be able to finance food. We are seeing uh, families which have an income spending more money in, on food rather than development, uh, which means if I, I am in a situation where I have a little amount of money, I would prioritize to buy food than take my child to school. There was a lot of needs of food here in the refugees camp. Even some people currently they stay without eating two times a day. Maybe others eat to eat once. Even others survive because of mangoes and some other greens. They cook the greens and they put salt in. Then they used to, to drink them like to eat them like that. WFP and its partners have been uh, pushing for more complementary activities, especially under everyone, which would increase uh, the resilience of families to produce their own food or generate income that can then be used to subsidize the food, uh, be able to buy the food, that is. We call upon uh, donors, uh, the donor community, uh, to consider Uganda as an ongoing, and, uh, an ongoing humanitarian response that requires additional funding. The refugee response plan in Uganda is, 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 is stable in terms of funding, but still not well funded. There are key components that require more funding, especially the Reverend and the Syrians, if we are to move the response uh, from emergency to development and uh, you know, in a sustainable way.